any modification for the movies has never been this magnificent or this menacing. I come in this game right now. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass movie tattoos. Oh my god! For this list, we've looked at well-known movie tattoos and narrowed them down to the most eye-catching, the most intimidating, and or the most formidable ink. See this? That means not welcome. Number 10, John Constantine, Constantine. This is Constantine, John Constantine, asshole. Our first tattoos look badass, and they do badass things. If this is some kind of spell or something, don't you need candles and a pentagram for it to work? Why, do you have any? In Constantine, Keanu Reeves is bound for the underworld and terminally ill. I already know exactly where I'm going. But he has an inked on gift that summons supernatural forces. I don't believe in the devil. You should. He believes in you. When they're matched together, the mirror image pentagram-esque designs on his forearms Into the light I command thee. Act like a calling card for angels, demons, heaven, and hell. Tattoos often draw extra attention, but usually from human rather than higher beings. Number 9. The McManus Brothers, The Boondock Saints I'm strangely comfortable with it. The Boston mob is an unruly, apparently unending one. And for Connor and Murphy McManus, it's the inspiration from some to-the-point tattooing. I do believe the seniors finally got the point. Hi. Guns are the weapons of choice in this movie, and the trigger finger is its anatomical epicenter. And shepherds we shall be, for thee, my lord, for thee. Power hath descended forth from thy hand. Therefore we swiftly carry out thy command. So we shall flow river forth to thee, and teeming with souls shall it ever be. In nomine patri. It feel it. Spirit of Santa. Not content with just three knuckles and a fingernail, though, Connor has Veritas inked down his gun toter, and Murphy has Equitas. Latin for truth and justice, respectively, these designs are a lethal demonstration of loyalty. Number eight, Mickey O'Neill, Snatch. It takes a lot to steal attention away from the other eye-catching aspects of a Brad Pitt torso. Try me, Mickey. But the curiously collaged designs on Mickey O'Neill's body almost outshine his six-pack. Of all the bare-knuckle boxers collection, though, it's the sketchy side profile of Madonna that stands out in particular. Drawn across his chest, it's not a Hollywood tattoo, but it is hardcore. You said to the job's done. It's like his heart's on his sleeve, but it's a woman on his pecs. Not, not Number seven, Seth Gecko from Dusk Till Dawn. Fair enough. There was no holding back on the badass for our next design. That's a good start. As Seth Gecko, George Clooney played out one of his most ruthless roles and redesigned his entire left arm to do so. I kind of doubt that. From a 21st century point of view, the tribal flames are a relatively simple design, but their reach from forearm to throat is a serious statement of inky intent. Oh, oh well, excuse me all the hell. Spilling out from an open shirt collar, they're unmissable, intimidating, often imitated, and rarely bettered. Get us into Mexico. You don't try to escape, and your daughter will be safe, and in the morning I will let you go. I give you my word, Jacob. Number six, Carl, the illustrated man. Wonder why? All right, I'll show you why. Some people view their body as a scrapbook, and their tattoos as the entries. They're not tattoos, they're skin illustrations. Don't you ever call them tattoos? In the illustrated man, which is based on several Ray Bradbury short stories, Carl is an advocate of that approach, but he takes it to awesome levels. Well, that, that's, that's the most fantastic thing I ever saw. The guy has traveled through time and space and has been tattooed along the way. You see that blank space on my back there? See it? And now the people look into that. 
and they see the future. His body is his story, and it's one that we can't take our eyes from. They have to be put to sleep. Never has the needle captured quite as much magic. Number five, Leonard Memento. It's common practice to write it down before you forget it, but what if you forgot where you wrote it down? I guess that's why you have those freaky tattoos. That's the cyclical situation in which Memento's amnesiac Leonard finds himself. Maybe it's for when I find him. By transforming his body into a pack of post-it notes, however, he can begin to piece together the murder of his wife. I can't blame the cops for not taking me seriously. This is a difficult condition for people to understand. Text and tattooing usually equates to an inspirational quote or two. Remember Sammy Jankis. But for Leonard, it's evidence to catch a killer. His name is James F. Grant's John G. Check your tattoos. It's less fashionable and more functional. Number four, Nikolai Luzhin, Eastern Promises. Semyon recommends these places for business meetings. Because you can see what tattoos a man has. It is said that in a Russian prison, if you don't have tattoos, then you don't exist. In Eastern Promises, Nikolai has clearly led quite the existence. Played by Viggo Mortensen, the film's main character is involved with the mob, and the evidence is etched all across his skin. There are skulls, churches, and grim reapers on his torso, and a prominent crucifix on his chest. The images are as alarming as they are evangelical, however, and their story is a sinister one. <laughs> Number three, Snake Plissken, Escape from New York. Why me? Kurt Russell's character in this early 80s film is far from a shrinking violet. The name is Plissken. And the ink worn on his abdomen is a blatant middle finger to anyone and everyone. Cobra protruding from his crotch is as jet black as his eye patch. Don't move, Snake. And as rebellious as his nature. The snake slithers from his waistband, bringing with it a wealth of phallic connotation and awesome attitude. Don't f with me. No, he isn't pleased to see us. He's just a guy you do not want to disagree with. Hey, 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 hey. Number two, Max Katie. Cape Fear. Roll your bombs. I'll do what he says. Turn around, slow. When Robert De Niro stepped into the skin of Max Cady, he decorated it with antagonistic inkings aplenty. Guess I'm covered in too many tattoos, huh? But you see, there's not a whole hell of a lot to do in prison but desecrate your flesh. The former prisoner is released back into the real world, with vengeance as much on his body as it is on his mind. I don't know whether to look at him or read him. Sam Bowden's the man who sent him down, and he's the inspiration behind the ink. What he did to me hurt a lot worse than this. <laughs> there are biblical quotations and broken hearts. After I went inside, her mama told her I was dead, which in a way I was. But it's the truth and justice holy cross on his back that really hits home. Good luck, Bowden. We think you're going to need it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. H-A-T-E. It was with this left hand that old brother Cain struck the blow that laid his brother low. L-O-V-E. You see these fingers, dear hearts, these fingers has veins that run straight to the soul of man. This is a real tattoo! Alan, what did you do? Did you rupee me? I notice you have three X's tattooed on the back of your neck. I think that's rather appropriate since you're looking at three strikes. Number one, Francis Dollarhide, Red Dragon. Before me, you rightly tremble. Our winner fascinates as much as it intimidates. 
It can hypnotize as much as it can horrify. Oh my dear God, Jesus. To modify your body in line with a series of William Blake paintings, seeing the Blake have you, is perhaps not an obviously badass thing to do. William Blake, Auguries of Innocence. But the Great Red Dragon on the back of Dollarhide is a dark, deadly, dangerous piece. The back is typically branded with the wings similar to those of an angel. We have the horns of the devil. Ray Fiennes wears the scale spectacularly, and this tattoo is second to none. She wants to know what I am. Do you agree with our list? Maybe a bastard, but I'm not a bastard. Which tattoo did we overlook? What does mine say? It's <laughs> me. <laughs> what about mine? Dude. For more incredible top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Mm, that was nicely posted. Thank you very much.